So one of the most common questions I get asked on my workshops is where do I place my focus? Where do I actually focus the camera in the scene is so as that I have this great depth of field that I need for this image. And look, my answer is normally I use a technique called hyperfocal distance because that will tell me exactly where it starts and where it finishes. And so I know that um, my shot is going to be in focus or everything in the scene is going to be in focus. And look, a lot of people have heard of this technique, but they don't really know what it is. So I thought I'd do a video on it today for you guys. Now I'm going to break it up into three parts. The first part is exactly what is hyperfocal distance. Um, the second part will be when do we need to use it and when don't we use it. And of course, the third bit will be how do we use it. Okay, let's get started. So look, what exactly is hyperfocal distance? So hyperfocal distance, it's an actual distance that we are told under certain perimeters that when we focus our lens at that distance, it will tell us where our focus starts and where it finishes. So let's just say we have our, we have our camera set up. I'll just use the three Amigos here to help us out. So we've got a camera set up. We've got infinity way back here that we need in focus. And then we've got something really close uh, to the camera that is also within the frame and that needs to be in focus as well. So this is always a scenario that we have this set up um, where this may be say one meter away from the camera and this is infinity and we need all of that in focus. So what hyperfocal distance does is we are told a distance. So let's just say this guy here is hyperfocal distance. And let's just say for argument's sakes, that distance is three meters. So we're told to focus our camera at three meters, and then we are told where the focus starts and where it finishes. And of course, there's different perimeters. There's no one set rule um, for hyperfocal distance. It's governed by your camera type, your lens, your f-stop. But that's basically all it is. It, it is the distance that you focus your lens on and then we know where it starts and where it finishes. So that's basically it. Okay, so when do we need to use it? Well, um, we need to use it when we need that great depth of field. And look, generally for landscape work, it's always when we have um, you know, infinity. It's normally inf from you know, infinity through to something fairly close. So that's when you would use it because a lot of times people don't know where do they focus within this range, where do you actually place that focus to allow this to be in focus and also infinity to be in focus. So that's when we use it. When we don't need to use it is when uh, we just have something like at infinity. If we've just got a mountain range miles and miles away and there's nothing in here that's, that's um, in our frame, then we just need to focus on infinity and we're done. We don't need to use this technique. So that's what it is and when to use it. So the next thing, of course, the million dollar question is how do we use it? So I'm going to break that into three different parts. So um, the, first, the first part is you, you may be lucky enough to have a scale on your actual lens. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm currently using the Fuji XT system and it has a built-in hyperfocal scale in the camera. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, and then the third, the third way and probably the most common way is to use a chart. So we would read a chart and then that will tell us where to, where to set our focus, where to set the hyperfocal distance, and then it'll tell us where it starts and where it finishes. Okay. So I'll go through each of these three in detail with you. So one really easy way to be able to use hyperfocal distance is if it's on the lens itself. Now this will need to be a prime lens and a manual focus lens. So let me just show you how that works. It's quite easy. So on the lens itself, we have some f-stop markings and there'll be two sets of them. Now the white line in the middle is where we actually focus our lens. And then on the barrel itself, we've got some markings, some distance markings and feet and meters. So if I bring that around and it hits that stop, that's uh, infinity stop. So that lens is now focused on infinity. Now to, to implement hyperfocal distance, let's just say we're using an f-stop of f22. So what we do is we take the infinity mark and on this particular lens will be on the right hand side, depends on which way your lens actually focuses. 
but we take it to F22 on the right hand side of the scale and we actually set the focus there. And then we read off on the left hand side and it tells us where it starts. So on this particular lens at F22, our focus is gonna start at two and a half feet through to infinity. So the actual hyperfocal distance where the lens is actually focused is about sort of four and a half feet. Now you may be lucky enough that your camera actually has a hyperfocal distance scale built in. Um, I've just, well not recently, but the last couple of years I've been shooting with the, uh, the Fuji X-T series cameras and I've discovered that they have this built in feature. Now I'm not too aware of any other cameras that have it, so if you do have something other than a Fuji X-T series and it does have this scale built in, then please let me know in a comment. Um, I'd really love to know what other cameras can do it. So what we do is we set our camera to, um, to fully manual, manual focus, and then the way this one works, I've got it set up. I had to sort of change some settings in the menu, but I've got it set. So when I actually change or move the focus ring, then this scale comes up. And so what it is, is the blue bar is basically our depth of field. The white line in the middle of the bar, that's where our lens is focused. And so to read the depth of field, we just, um, we read from the left-hand side of the blue bar to the right-hand side. So if you're lucky enough to have one of these scales built into your camera, then I would highly recommend that you um, work out where it is in the menu system and that you can access it nice and easily when you're shooting out in the field, because as you can see, it's a really, really quick way of setting your focus and knowing where it's gonna start and where it finishes. Now, if this is not the case, then you're gonna have to go to an app or a chart. So let's have a look at that. So there are plenty of apps out there that tell you how to do this. This particular one here, I use photo pills. So um, I'm gonna show you their depth of field chart. I'll just show you back on here. So photo pills, they've got a hyperfocal table, but the depth of field chart is actually the one that you want. And with this, you'll need to input your camera and the lens that you're using. Um, and I'll just explain what all these numbers are. So the white numbers down on the left here is the actual hyperfocal distance, which is where you would be focusing your, your camera. So where I have it set at the moment, so that's in line with two meters. And then each box has two distances. The, the number at the top is our near focus. So that'll be the closest point that is in focus. And then the second distance is the, the far plane. So the, the, um, the furthest point away that will be in focus. So look, generally when we're using this technique, we're looking for infinity to be in focus. So what I do is I find the f-stop that I wanna use. So say for argument's sakes here, we're using f8 and then I come down the chart until I get to the first box that has infinity in it. So you can see the one above is not quite getting to infinity. It's focusing from 0.79 meters through to 16.37. And then the next box there is 0 0.9 meters through to infinity. And that's at F8. And so to achieve that, we would focus our lens at two meters. So just show you another scenario. If we wanted to come down to F5.6, um, 5.6 down here. So we'd find the first one that has infinity in it. So there we would need to be focusing our lens at two and a half meters and our depth of field would be 1.2 meters through to infinity. So look, the whole chart thing looks a little bit confusing at first because there's lots of boxes and numbers, but once you get, a he once you get your head around how it actually works, then um, they're really quite simple and quite fast and easy to use. And look, if you're not a person that likes to use apps, then you can jump online and you can get the exactly the same thing as what I just showed you in a chart and you could always um, download that chart. It's got to be specific for your camera and lens though. So this is where an app is quite good because it's quick and easy to, to change um, to change your, your settings and your lenses or whatever. Whereas a chart, you need a chart for each different focal length. And of course, the only tricky bit with this really is we're told, okay, we need to focus at two meters. That's all fine and dandy, but then 
comes the tricky bit as to how do we actually focus at exactly two meters, which has always intrigued me. Like, do we get a tape measure out and sort of measure two meters? Well, no, we don't. So generally, um, you've just got to guess. So roughly guess two meters. If you can pace it out, pace out sort of two, two meters. And look, if you're shooting digital, we've got the luxury of being able to review our image. So I just say to people, get your image, um, just get it up on the screen, zoom right in, scroll down to the bottom of the picture, make sure that that's sharp, and then scroll back up to infinity and check that. And if it's not, then you just need to move that focus forward or backwards. So that's hyperfocal distance. I hope that was, um, hope I explained that nice and clearly for you all. If you have any questions at all, just fire away with a comment below. And look, hopefully um, you guys can use this somehow in your landscape photography. It really is a great thing uh, or a great tool um, to be able to use to know where your focus is going to start and where it's going to finish. So you can look at your, your scene and say, yep, I know that that um, foreground is going to be pin sharp right through to infinity. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.